popping what it do d babies it's your girl days it's your girl days as you can tell by the title y'all know what the fuck is going on so let's stop talking and get straight into the video but before we actually do get straight into the video i'm gonna go make me some noodles because i mean your girl haven't ate all day and she's starving so i just need to do my intro real quick i'm gonna go make me some noodles i'm gonna come back and we're gonna get it started so bye so i'm back y'all and my noodles is hot what is it they sit on my lap but so i'm gonna just wait to, to eat them but i'm gonna tell y'all the story so i'm reading off a phone because i wrote it down and i don't know if i can remember everything step by step but i'll try to do my best or whatever so i do remember the beginning though so it all started in my senior year literally so i like literally on the first day of school um i started entertaining this boy named bum nigga z that's what we're gonna call him so he was new to our school and we got a couple new people with that school year or whatever and i started entertaining him or whatever so it was this one hot day that i was just like i'm gonna do a public interview for my channel because like i wasn't really posting at the time so i was like i know y'all would like a public interview so i was gonna do that so i was gonna do a public interview for my channel and it was lunchtime so i just decided to put it down my backpack so i wouldn't be carrying it around while i'm trying to interview people you know so um i put it down whatever and at the when the bell rang for us to go to class i was looking for my backpack and it wasn't there so somebody stole it um i told me like bum niggas be like come with me to go look for my backpack or whatever it's getting hot but i told him to come with me look for my backpack and he was like all right so he came with me look for my backpack i don't know where he's gonna be that <laughs> like for real for real somebody just came out of nowhere i don't know what for but somebody just came out of nowhere and started beating him up so i'm like i'm in shock at this point i'm like like what the hell is going on so at this point i'm just like i need to go find my best friend like where's my best friend at where my best friend at so i find her so we just stand in there and we just like God, like this. Can you see this? Like, he really be. <laughs> so, we just standing there, and I just like I didn't know what to do. I wasn't finna jump in. Like, come on now, you're not my nigga. But anyways, so later on that day, it was after school at this point. So after school what happened oh yeah me and my best friend was walking towards the bus stop so after school we're walking towards the bus stop or whatever right and um bum nigga z and his homies and this girl so this girl we're gonna say she's gonna be called dirty chloe so dirty chloe was walking in his and bum nigga z and his homies was walking in front of us or whatever and we was walking to the bus stop so they all talking about it whatever they talking about the fight with you boop, boop. then dirty chloe's like oh if i was there if i was there i would have had your back like i would have jumped in with you boop, boop. i would have got shit popping like period da -da 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 so she all hyped though like she hyped with it and i'm just me and my best friend just looking at her like okay like we just all looking at him we're not even thinking of them we're just looking at him whatever so after that wait hold on mm -hmm. so after that bum nigga z walks towards me oh no but niggas, it was like, um, to Dirty Chloe, like, call your mom so she can pick us up. And then he walks towards me and be like, um, I'm finna go to my cousin house. My cousin house. Or whatever. So I'm like, alright, like, I don't care. 
Where you like I'm thinking like why is you telling me your whereabouts? Like, I don't care. But anyways, um What happened? What happened? What happened? Oh yeah, so anyways, after that he hit my phone like um basically he was mad because I didn't jump in the fight or whatever. But at the end of the day, um I'm not your bitch. Like I'm that bitch, but I'm just not your bitch. You feel me? <laughs> So, I was like, I'm not finna jump in that fight, like, what do I look like? So, I guess he was mad or whatever, and I'm just like, okay, if you're really that mad, you can stop talking, like, and that's just that. So, um, we stopped talking or whatever, and the whole time we stopped talking, we ended up getting fourth period together. So, we ended up getting fourth period together, and literally, we wasn't talking, like, for a couple months or a couple of weeks or whatever the case may have been, I don't know. So, we wasn't talking for a long period of time. But every day in class, like, he'll do stuff to try to get my attention, whatever. But I didn't really care. Like, I was really trying not to pay attention to him. Okay. So, it was just... This rumor started to go around that him, that bum nigga Z and Dirty Chloe was messing with each other. It's a rumor, but in all reality, it was no rumor. So, he, I guess they messing with each other and he trying to mess with me at the same time. You already know how that go. So, I'm still not paying attention or whatever then everybody like every every time you see him trying to get at me or whatever the case may be trying to get my attention everybody would tell me like oh he messing with so-and-so oh he messing with so-and-so oh he messing with so-and-so -so. like i don't care like what are you telling me for i'm not his female like he just opened my face for what though i really didn't know why he was opening my face but anyways um so what happened after that? I'm trying to. Oh, yeah. So then after that, I'm like, if I'm going to mess with this dude, I need to know if these rumors are true or not. So I knew, like, if I ask him, he's really not going to tell me, like, what's up. He's going to lie. And I don't have time for that. Like, you know? So I decide to pull him and her out of class. So I'm like, meet me by with you with boo so i think we met by the bas bathrooms or whatever but we met by like um so my school we had like a building b building c d whatever uh, so i think we met by some e bath e bathroom i think i don't know i think it was g whatever so we met by the bathroom and all three of us face to face so i'm like i've been hearing this and hearing that hearing this and he's trying to mess with me so i need to know like if this true or not like let me know what's up is this your nigga or is this not and she was like basically lying to my face she's like no this not my nigga we're friends with you but i'm thinking in my head like but this nigga just told me y'all was cousins so is y'all cousins or is y'all friends like i really want to know what's up So then, after that, I'm like, oh, okay. And he looking at me like, I told you, see, I told you, ain't nothing going on. Ain't nothing going on between us. And I'm just looking at both of them like, all right, if you say so, because I mean, I believed it at the time because, I mean, if it was me and if the female was pulling me out of class or whatever the case may be, you know, asking me, is this your nigga? And if he really was my nigga, I'm going to tell you, like, yes, he's my nigga. Who is he to you? <laughs> That's just on period. Like, don't try to check me. But anyways, so that's just how it would have been. So I'm believing there, whatever. And... Um, I think weeks go by so weeks go by 
I don't know where he come in class. So he coming in class and he like, you hella weird. So I'm like, what I do? He basically tells me that um her well bum nigga Z and Dirty Chloe and a couple other people was at the park and his cousin which I didn't know from a can of paint and she didn't know me from a can of paint. Like, girl, you don't even know me. But anyways. So his cousin, we're gonna name her what did what did I name her? I know I named her something. Um, ooh. We're gonna name her Coochie Poppin. S or no D Coochie Poppin D So that's gonna be her name. So he basically tells me that Coochie Poppin D tells him some false false information about me. So he's like, um she's telling me that basically you fucked her nigga. And I'm like huh? Who and who's she and who is her nigga? Like I really wanna know. Um so then after that he tells me who's her nigga, he tells me who she is, what she look like, whatever. So I remember I know who the dude is or whatever. I worked with him like in the past. I worked I had a job and I was he was working on the same job I was as I was. So I'm like like I know him. We linked a few times, but we linked as a group of friends. Like I have my group of friends, he had his group of friends. So I'm like, where is this coming from? Like, come on now, if I really had sex with somebody, I'm gonna say I did. Like that's like I'm too grown for this. But anyways, and I guess she's saying that when they was together or whatever. But mind you, I still don't know who the girl is. And even when I linked with the dude or whatever, I didn't even know who she was. So anyways, um, what happened? So she just spreading this rumor or whatever. And she, I guess she was supposed to come to the schoolhouse that same year she was supposed to come and i guess she was supposed to come like a week or two after and when she get there she gonna supposedly spit on me so i'm like oh okay oh okay it's gonna go down like at this point nobody finna just spit on me like i'm really will demolish you don't do that that's so disrespectful i'm not even like that but like i was saying so I'm telling my best friend like, oh yeah, um, with you with boob, this one to go down, this one to go down, this one to go down. So she like, oh yep, it's good. So I'm like, soon as this girl step foot in this fit in this school, like soon as she step foot in this school, I'm not even gonna give her a chance to say nothing, do nothing. Like I'm just gonna bang her, like, and that's on period. So after that, what happened? So after that, oh, I think it was later on that night, I'm at home. I just got off, got out of practice. I was a cheerleader at the time, so I'm at home. And I get on my Instagram. I get on my Instagram, my best friend, and heck of other people were sending me this girl's page. And the girl, come to find out, is, what was her name again? Dirty Chloe Instagram. Her spam page so they send sending me this or whatever and when I click on it it's a flippergram of dirty of bum nigga bum nigga Z and dirty Chloe and they're all lovey dovey kissy kissy whatever I guess she posted it that night or whatever so she posted and her friend what was her friend name did I forget her friend name her friend Coochie Popper Dean 
So I hope I'm not getting these names mixed up or I hope I'm not changing these names up on y'all. But anyways, so yeah. So Coochie Popper D or whatever, comments under it was like, period, it's always going to be y'all. with people Like they was just com kept commenting back and forth, like trying to shade me or whatever. So I sent it to him and <laughs> sent it with last faces and was like, bet. Like, that's what you want? All right, bet. You don't gotta say nothing. I don't wanna hear nothing. Like that's it's good. You feel me? So he he over here trying to explain himself vague, whatever. So I'm ignoring him, whatever. And at this point, like I don't even got a problem with him. At this point, it's a problem with like it's with us because I pulled you out of the class. I had a face to face talk with you. Like is this your nigga or is it not? If that was really your nigga, you could have just said, that's my nigga. Okay, and I'm going to stop fucking with him. Like, period. But no, you took it into, like, your hands to just go on Instagram with it. And want to do all this. And want to do all this. And just keep doing all this. And you want to do all this with your friends? Your friends, that's going to get you beat up. And that's just that. So, that's how I felt. And I was just like, you know what, like, it's crazy. It would be different if I never, if me and her never had a face-to-face -face talk. Like, we literally just talked about this. Hey, D-Babies, the video was kind of too long. And at this point, I'm going to just cut it into two parts. So, y'all just watch part one. Stay tuned for part two, plus the video. That's all. Period. Run it.